not good. Welcome to Chaplin's Chaps. It's Monday. It is currently, uh, you see there, 10.30. What the f*** is that? It's 10.13 a.m. And I have all of my Champs games to play. Uh, I could just hold off on this and redeem finals entry next weekend and blah, 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 blah. But screw it. I want to do it. We're redeeming entry. I'm going to go play all 20 games of Champs now. Then we'll open the rewards and chat about the Evos. Say no more. For you, this is going to take hours for me. Well, here's the first update. It's 10.30 now. I've played about four games, of which I've actually only played one because the game is lagging so much. I'm freezing and nothing happens. I'm going to go and take a break and have another coffee and try and do more. King EA servers. One eternity later. Well, that was quite possibly the worst idea ever. Uh, we ended with the usual seven wins or eight wins, whatever it was I finished on, but rank seven and possibly some of the sweatiest gameplay I've come against in a while. Madness. But never mind, we did it. We got we got some rewards, so let's go open them and then talk about Evos. So it's the usual two player picks of 50k, 100k, more points for next week, 1000 XP, which will give us another level of some sort completed, plus whatever objectives we've done. Player picks first an 85 and an 84 284 goalkeepers what do you know i'll go and claim the objectives that we've done apparently there's 16 of those wow so with all that claimed we've now got to go and open 15 packs apparently i'll just show you if there's anything decent in them eventually and a 100k pack to finish it off can we get a promo card we can future star come on who we got french cdm it's lemieux 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 i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. Les Mules. Are they worth anything? No, they are discarded best. Wow. Oh well, we got one, Phil. All right, well, we got a future start. There's my thumbnail and title sorted. Uh, I gave away the last couple of games because, as you can see here with the bronze squad, but the squad that we finished with was the squad that we started with. Yes, I got two players sent off in the last game. Shush. I'm judging me. Stat check on Morgan is now it played 23, scored 24 with eight assists. Honestly, an amazing card, which might make it a bit surprising then considering the next SBC I'm working on. Yes, Alex Morgan will stay in the team as long as I can keep her in there. But like with Davor Suker, one of my favorite players of all time has a Future Stars icon SBC that I am one squad away from completing and it is Andre Shevchenko. Th this man was the reason I loved AC Milan so much when I was younger. And yeah, all I've got left is the 88 rated squad to do, which we've got a few players in for already. I think there's a few more that I can add in. To be fair, I could literally put all of these players in and I'm not really missing much. I've got the 87 Risa, so although we've used them, Eh. Pulisic and Verts. I just did their SPCs because I had players lying around to throw into them ages ago. Obama Yang was good, but it's not going to get in ahead of Morgan and Shevchenko, who were completing. Carvalho is the only one I'm a bit eh about, but you know something? I don't care. He is just one of my favourites of all time. Such a good player, and yeah, happy to have future stars icon Shevchenko in the team for this week weekend, season, game, whatever. Four star, four star, which we all know is my most consistent use. Can play right wing and centre forward as well. Right wing was where he used to score so many goals for Milan, cutting in off of that right hand side and just yeet. Shevchenko, welcome to Chaplin's Chips. So because of future stars, everyone was given a pack with a bunch of uh, academy attackers and academy defenders in it. And as such, we've now got two of each with space for players to go into. So for one of the defenders, I think Geertruda is just, if you don't put him in, you're kind of doing yourself a disservice. Has Anticipate, we'll have Block Plus, Jockey and Relentless, which for someone who can play right back, right wing back, center back and CDM, yeah, you're just kind of doing yourself a disservice if you don't put him into one of them. So Geertruda goes into one and I actually put a poll up on the YouTube channel for the other one. And as you'll see here, the winner was Odilon Kosunu. So for the second option of these defenders, Kosunu goes in. It's another centre back, I get it, but we're going to be trying some new stuff out over the next few weeks. I like mixing the team up quite a bit. Now for the attackers, a lot of people are going Okafor, uh, Brian, Athenia. I quite like the look of doing Dina Ibimbe because again, positionally you're talking right mid, right wing back, centre mid, right wing. Three star, three star lets them down a bit, but if I remember right when they go through this they actually gain a, a skill move as well so eh, quite tempting i mean it would make sense to put brobby into this because it goes up to 90 rated 96 heading accuracy 99 jumping and would have power header plus an acrobatic 
it kind of makes sense. But again, I have enough strikers already. I think I'm going to do Dina Ibimbe as one option just because looks like a really good all-round card, to be honest with you. And you know something? Since we've got some Bundesliga options on the go as well as Spanish players in the team, we'll just put Brian into this one. Why not? It maybe wastes the playstyle pluses, but... Screw it. Now, I did also put a poll out again for the uh, the FS attacking midfielder option, which you'll see hovering around the screen right now, and uh, it was pretty convincingly chosen to be Caroline Weir, who you see here on screen goes up to 88 rated, 5 star, 5 star skill moves and weak foot, attributes are pretty decent, and uh, yeah, look at those play styles, rapid, blast, magnetic first touch, trickster, all the things are in there. I'm going to hold off though, because obviously we're waiting till we've got a little bit more money. This one costs 100k coins. I've got plenty to be working on now, including this that I need to go and finish for Mr. Kiefer Moore, who I only put into it because he's playing for Ipswich now. Let's be brutally honest. How did your weekend league go and who have you put into these new evolutions? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there typing, you might as well click like on the video as well. It's greatly appreciated if you enjoyed it, of course, and a little subscribe wouldn't go amiss either. We'll be back to check on the progress of these evos in Wednesday's video. Have a great week. I'll speak to you all soon. Mwah. Peace. Love you. Bye. Thank you.